Hello, everyone. Uh, just wanted to uh, share something quick here. Um, and yeah, I'm aware uh, I'd like to increase the video frequency, um, but uh, this is where it is for now. So <laughs> having some busy days, but um, I was wanting to share about uh, using authentic communication in the start of a, uh, in a session, but can, particularly with in the start of a therapeutic session or any type of coaching session. Um, and so I'll just share my experience. Um, oftentimes, if, especially if I have time in the morning before my set day of sessions, I spend just a little time meditating on the upcoming clients, you know, and I just kind of take a moment and I just picture the person and I just kind of drop into my heart space um, and just see what I feel, you know, and this first client, as soon as I just started to open in that heart space towards this person, I just was super aware of like how loving of a dad he is. And like a lot of times we work and, you know, that's the big thing he works on, like wanting to be a better dad and wanting to be, um, a better husband and just want, wanting to work on that in, in his family life. And that was like the first thing that came to me. And I was just so I just remember being like warmed, you know, it wasn't like overwhelming. It was just like this little bit of warmth in my heart, you know, and just appreciating that. And, you know, I was just like picturing his face and picturing that. And, you know, I mean, it really took about 30 seconds, you know, just to kind of drop in, feel what was there, recognize that. And then, you know, and I really didn't think of anything more than that. It just is something that kind of opens me up for my sessions before I go in, just kind of check in how I'm feeling towards the client. And, um, you know, and then we kind of sat down and, you know, I just let myself feel that connection to him and the kind of joy that is there just at seeing that particular client. Um, and then he genuinely asked me how I was and I, you know, do like what I always do, which is I genuinely take a moment to reflect on how I was. And when I did, I just felt this joy at being, you know, I the memory of, of uh, meditating or being with his presence in, kind of in my heart uh, just came to me and I just spoke for it then, you know. I was like, oh, you know, I had a good quiet morning and I was just, wow, you know, as I, I took a few moments just to reflect on our session on it before you came and I, I was just filled with all this warmth of like what a, how caring of a dad you are and how much you work at being a better dad and a better husband and, you know, just how much that touches me that I see that in you. Um, and I was just looking forward to, you know, just being with you and working on that more together or whatever you're bringing, you know, and I just felt this big warmth and openness, you know, and I so expressed that. And then, you know, like, of course, he was just respond, you know, like, feels really good. You know, he's just like, wow, that just feels so good to um, that you were holding that and thinking about me, you know, that way. And, you know, um and that you were holding that care and, and then just was a natural jump off place, you know, to say, yeah, well, let's, let's offer that care to your system and your parts and just see who's here that wants to experience some, you know, caring attention, you know, what, what parts of you are present. And then we went into a session, you know, and it was beautiful, but it's, <clears throat> you know, it sets the stage of being emotionally present, you know, and real, um, and that my client can feel that with me. He can feel the genuineness of when I'm saying that because I'm not making something up. You know, if that wasn't true, I wouldn't say it. You know, it's speaking to, you know, what I'm authentically feeling, especially if it's anything in the realm of care, um, you know, uh, appreciation, you know, respect of, of what the, that client's holding and, you know, what it means to me. Um, I think later in that same session, I was able to say, you know, um, that client, you know, had some, you know, feelings or anger come up in relationship to their family. And they worked so hard at, at trying to, you know, not hurt their, you know, and I was able to f share authentically and say, you know, that, that really touches me deeply because, you know, I come from a family where, you know, my father would express his anger at me directly. You know, he didn't have the skills or ability or, you know, uh, therapy, you know, he didn't have all that to work on that, you know, and you're putting so much effort in, in trying to change that and be different with your family. And, um, 
to, to, to see him from that place and to own it from my own exile place and say, yeah, that, you know, like from that space, really respect and appreciate your parts that are working on this. And not, you know, and to really be mindful, not shifting the focus to my system, but then to really reflect it back to him and look, what does that bring up for you in the moment as you hear that? You know, and then we just go deep. And it takes the parts work even deeper at that point. Um, so um, just wanted to kind of share some of those experiences and stories. Um, it's just I'm such a believer in bringing your authentic self and your authentic heart to the to the interaction and the therapy um, or coaching or whatever it is you're interacting with someone, you know, being real with the person. Um, so I um, hope you enjoyed that little story and uh, I'd love to hear uh, any resonance or reflection or how that impacted you. I'd love to hear about it. Okay. <laughs>